Hey coders, welcome back to another YouTube video. It's me Mohammed from Mass Code Tech, and today we will be learning about how to add images using HTML into a web page. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe this video, and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Let's hop right into the video. <laughs> We have a new member. So guys, we are going to have a new member in this channel. So stay tuned for our next video where you will be able to find out who she is. So guys, we're right here in the P5JS web editor and today we will learn how to add images using HTML into our web page. Let's get started. First, we will have to download an image from Chrome. So let's go to Chrome and download an image. I will just type in hello and download the first image right here so right click and then i click save image as and then i name it whatever i want i name it i'll name it hello and then dot png save now it's downloaded i go back to visual studio code and then right here i type in image is source is equal to quotation marks and in between the quotation marks I'm going to type in hello.png and then we're gonna close it and then we're gonna open it with live server so right click open with live server and as you can see right here the image is not loading so we go back to Visual Studio Code and then we open the image in Visual Studio Code so let me open my file explorer I go to there, then I drag the image in here. So I go to my file, I drag the image in here. And as you can see right here, my image has been uploaded in here. So now I just see the name hello.png. I go here, I write hello.png. Then I click open with live server. And as you can see here, the image has loaded. So I, the thing is, we have to download the image in our file then we have to open it in visual studio code like drag and drop and then we have to open the tab up here and then write the same thing as like this one hello.png and then write the same thing hello.png there we go our image worked now i will show you some ways you can change the width and height so you type in width is equals to quotation quotation and you type in the width so let me type in 200 and then i comma so height let me just click enter right there so height and then i type in the height 200 and then let's go check our code and as you can see it got smaller one more way you can edit the width and the height of the video the other way is you type in style is equals to quotation marks and then you type in width Yeah, width, and then you can just click that so it auto completes the code, and then you type in the width you want. So I will just type in the same thing, 200, and then close it. Now we instead of closing it, we type in the height. So we don't type in style again. We just type in height, and just click enter so it auto completes the code. And I will type in 200, and then don't forget the px, which means pixels. So type in the px. And now let's open this with live server. And there we go. We got our image pixels, pixel wise smaller. And I think you can also change the X and Y. Let's try this. So comma X is equal to quotation, quotation. Now let's make the X 200. And then comma Y is equal to quotations. And then let's make the Y 200. And now let's check the Chrome. No, nothing happened. I don't think we can change it. So now we just raise the X and Y. As, and as you can see right here, we got our code successfully completed. Now we're going to try to upload an image from Chrome. So let's make the image source is equal to. Now we'll type in the name. So for the link, we go to Chrome. We go here. Then we type in an image. I'll just select an image from here. Let's go with this one. So now I will just drag and drop this image into a Google so it opens this. We don't want that. So we right click it and then we click open image in new tab. So let me find it. Yeah, open image in new tab and it opens as you can see right here. Then you copy the link 
it's pretty simple you copy the link and then you paste it in here and then you close it and don't forget the x and y value I mean width and height if you want it now let's go check our chrome browser and yeah as you can see here we got the hello one and the hello so now we're going to try to change the width and height for the link so let's type in width and let's make it 200 the same thing and let's type in height and let's make it the same thing 200 now we will check our chrome and there we go that's really cool so guys this is how you add images and then if the image doesn't load if there's a problem with it you just go ahead and type in alt is equals to what the image is about so I'll type in saying hello so now it, we go back to Chrome and it loads sometimes that works or sometimes this works uh, by putting the image in here and yeah so guys this is it for today's video make sure to like share and subscribe this video and bye I'll see you next time